Hey there, my name is Julian and welcome to Member Script 126. So what we're doing in this Member Script is posting form data to a webhook without redirecting. So let's say you want your form data to be handled by something from maybe Make or something from Zapier, whatever it might be. Uh, you might be familiar with the fact that when you set up that webhook and that webhook response, then you're going to have to redirect it to another page. But what if you want it to just have Webflow's standard form behavior on the front end, but you want it to pass through a Make webhook or, or a Zapier webhook instead? So that is what this script accomplishes, and it's very simple. First, let me show you how to use it. So first things first, let's just go ahead and enter some stuff in here. Let's go ahead and just do like that. Enter some email, hit submit data to webhook. As we can see here, it looks like we just submitted the Webflow form. Now let's go in here and click Run Once just so we can see what is happening and that it is indeed posting to the webhook. So let's just go ahead and enter some fake stuff again and hit Submit Data to Webhook. And as we're going to see here, that is indeed being passed through to the webhook. Now, what if there is some sort of error? Let's go ahead and just simulate an error by sending a 400 webhook response. Just like that. Now let's hit run once, wait for new data, and let's try this form again. Let's go ahead and enter some stuff in. Hit that, hit submit data to webhook, and as you can see, something went wrong while submitting the form. And just in case you don't believe that's what it is, let's go ahead delete this, and again, hit run once. Now, as we can see, since there was no error, it submitted perfectly fine. So if that's what you're looking for, then I will show you how to make it work. First thing you're going to want to do is actually make your form in Webflow. And this is exactly as you would have already been making it. You will enter the waiting text that you want. You'll style the form error and the form success message exactly as you want within Webflow. And you will set wherever you want your form to go, this action, let's say. You'll enter that here and you'll hit post just as you normally would. The only other thing you need to do here is add this ms-code-form-no-redirect attribute, blank value. And the only other thing you need to make it work is the script for member script 126. So if you're watching this from the member stack site, then you know where to go. It'll say copy, just copy the code. If you're watching this from YouTube, go to the link in the description and it will take you to the page where you can copy the code. As always, best practice is to only include this code where you actually need it. So don't put it site-wide unless you actually need it on every single page. So that is it. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the MemberStack 2.0 Slack in the MemberScripts chat channel. I'll talk to you soon and have an awesome day.